What's going on, you guys? This be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, where we talk about celebrity gossip, hot topics, and all things reality TV based. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday, and I plan on doing the same. Before we get into today's mess, let's talk about what we got coming up this week. Now, as you guys know, if you are into LGBT web series, the show that you should be watching is Chasing Dallas. It comes on every Thursday night at 8, 7 central, okay? And after every show, we do a pre-recorded panel okay we do a pre-recorded panel it has me terrence jamar carl jeremy and tramel on there and we all discuss the episode in depth every week so make sure you guys tune in to that so with that being said that's pretty much it so let's go ahead and get into the mess okay now as you guys already know, last night was the Basketball Wives Season 10 reunion, okay? It really was. And last night, there was an unexpected confrontation between Jackie Christie and Brooke Bailey. But not only did Jackie Christie and Brooke Bailey have words online, there were also words exchanged on... Um, I mean, not only did they have words on the show, but they also exchanged words online. And then there was some words from Brooke Bailey's um, baby daddy that painted her as a bad mom that were also exchanged online as well. But first things first, we're going to get into what exactly started this whole thing, which was the argument between Jackie Christie and Brooke Bailey on a Basketball Wives reunion, where Brooke Bailey called out Jackie Christie for not being a good friend, accusing her of not being there for her when her daughter passed away early this year. With that being said, we're about to go ahead and get into it and listen in on this conversation between Jackie and Brooke, and then we're going to get into the online fighting. Let's get into it. Can I please, um, because my heart is pounding 100 miles a minute right now listening to this, because you sit here and you say, you know, how great of a friend you've been to people, but I really feel like you're not. Okay. And the reason why is because when my daughter passed away, you didn't even send a one flower. You didn't, you've been in LA. You didn't knock on my door to give me a hug or just to sit next to me quietly. You showed absolutely no support. First of all, I didn't know what to say. And I was so Most sorry. Most people don't. Which I didn't I, tell it, wasn't that I didn't, it wasn't that I didn't show support. I called you and I talked to, is that Tyler Renee, is that your friend or your sister? You didn't show me support. I'm glad we're having this conversation because I'll be honest with you. I knew that it would be a touchy situation when I saw you again. It hurt my heart to hear about your daughter. I sat and I cried for hours. I have two daughters. I didn't call you, but it hurt my heart that this happened to you. You have been through with your husband. I sat in your house and I talked to you for hours. So don't sit here and tell me I'm not a friend. Because that's a all, lie. What me and my husband I am went sorry. through has nothing to do with what the I'm death saying, of my daughter. Know, and it's in no but comparison Brooke, I whatsoever. I didn't know what to say. Okay, you don't have I to say know. much. Everybody was going through emotions. Brandy that. showed up. Well, Dusty showed up. Britta showed what? up. Production showed up. I showed and up. And don't leave me out. Think, my baby's dress. I think we all expected more from you, though. We all did. saying that you're the leader of this group. And you you take great pride of saying that. Thank you expressing that um i think she just expected a little bit more from you and that's a lot, okay, let me, let me a lot. say something i wanted to give you the space to deal with the grieving i've never lost a child brooke i grieve how am 24 I so hours exactly seven days a week. So what space do you how think am i, I supposed to know what? You just lost a child. You wouldn't have known what to do if it had been one Taylor, of ours. Please, yes, I would have. Okay, well, you didn't get oh, it right. You didn't get it your way. Right. Hush, British, because I got to be able to uh, make her understand this. I, I don't it, understand Well, then if you I'm don't, I'm going to leave it like this. I don't, I I don't give sorry. a about you. I'm sorry. Okay, ladies. I don't give a about you. Period. Period. Don't put your in my face. Because it ain't real. How you going to apologize, but you didn't know what to say then? Hold on. Hold on. Hey, no, wait, wait. No, come I'm on. Sitting right she here. has moved. Yeah. Girl. I'm not moving. No, come on. This no, wasn't no. even something that I plan on addressing. But me sitting here Can listening to your bullshit ass story about no, friendship no, with no, Jen no. is some no. bullshit. I said, I apologize, Brooke. I'm sorry you. Your apology. You should go over on your side. No. I am, this is for your safety, please. Girl, no, for whose safety? Not, yours. No, 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 it ain't for mine. No, for real. It ain't for mine. Get up, Brandy. I ain't worried about that. Can we go to break? Because yeah, no, for real. Yes, we go we, to we're going to go to break, but I, I just wanted to hear this real fast oh. because this, I think it's important. I think it's important for her to verbalize to Jackie. Too. Wait a minute, Jack. I need you to be quiet. Okay. Okay, so where do we go from here? Because we can't know. do anything about the past. It just kind of made me take steps back because it just left me 
feeling like you're not the person, a friend on the outside that, that I thought that you were. If you feel that this platform with, with me isn't something you want to be a part of, then maybe it ain't the place for you. Oh. If it wasn't the platform for me, then I would exit. What are you talking about? I think it's time yeah, for I everybody to so. go get some water and take a break. Yes, I, I agree. agree. Just we'll focus, be right back. Just focus I on emotions are very heavy. And it's just getting started. Can I please um be Ooh, that was a lot. So that was the art, the emotionally charged argument between Brooke Bailey and Jackie Christie in regards to Jackie Christie being a bad friend to Brooke Bailey when she lost her daughter. Um, I can honestly say that this particular argument, I understand it from both sides. Um, Brooke was someone who lost a child and she was looking for support from everybody that, you know, claimed to be her friend, basically. And um, when you're going through stuff, you do want people that you rock with to be by your side at all times. And I think that that's something that she wanted. Jackie, on the other hand, who's never lost a child, she doesn't know what to do with for a person that's lost a child or anything like that. So she didn't know what to do, how to how to. And honestly, when it comes down to me. Um, I really, cause I've lost a lot of people and I know how I am when I lose people. Like I, I appreciate everybody's condolences. I appreciate people checking in on me, but then I need my space. I don't like to be crowded. I don't like to be asked a lot of questions. So I prefer that you just give me your condolences. You check on me once or twice and then you just leave me the hell alone. But everybody doesn't grieve the same. And Jackie was like, I don't know how it feels. I don't know because I never had, a, I never lost a child. But in the same breath, Jackie, if you didn't, if you didn't want to check in on her, if you didn't want to do that, you could have just sent her some flowers or something like that, sent her a text of support, or even just showed up to her daughter's funeral or something like that. But you did nothing. So when you don't do anything, when you don't reach out to anyone, then it may it makes you look bad. And that's just the truth. And I like you, Jackie, but you kind of dropped the ball and Brooke's reaction is what it is, and I definitely understand why her reaction was what it was. I can't sit up here and lie. I do understand that. So after that played on TV, Jackie Christie also took to Instagram, and this is what Jackie Christie had to say, and I got this from the BBWT Inc. on Instagram. They always supply us with all Basketball Wives news. So Jackie Christie said, I really hope everyone stops spreading lies and hate about such a sensitive topic. I'm truly disappointed that the narrative is being spun in such a way to insinuate or say that I did not call her on the very morning we all found out. As I said at the reunion, I spoke to Tyler and sent my love prayers and condolences. I was assured that she would reach out when she felt up to it. I then text and DM several times and received back messages when the service came. I don't do well with them, so I didn't go. And I found out at the reunion my absence was missed, and I apologized. At this juncture, I'm done going back and forth. We spoke and moved on at the BB, at the Basketball Wives LA reunion, okay? So that's what Jackie said. Now, there was more to this. So let's look. So it says, what pissed me off today, and this is basically what Brooke said on Twitter, what pissed me off today was seeing Jackie's private interview after our back and forth on stage. I'm truly disgusted, which Jackie was kind of cold. I wish they had this up here, but Jackie was definitely cold um, with that back, with that interview. She definitely was. She was. It's like she didn't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like she didn't, she didn't care. You know, that's that's basically how it came across. It's just like she did not care about what, what, what was going on when she said all of this is not going to bring your daughter back. She said a lot of stuff that was kind of cringy. You know what I mean? So it was crazy. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it was definitely crazy. And um, I really don't know what to say about that. You know, Jackie was mad or whatever, but it, it, child, it was a lot, honey. The reason it was a lot. It was a whole lot. So, um... After that, um, there were some things that the baby daddy said about uh, Brooke, okay? Now, let's go into that because um, Brooke's baby daddy came out and said some things as well. And this is what he said. 
I had to put the overlay back up so I could fix it. So this is what the baby daddy had said. Okay, now the baby said, now the baby daddy said, what you people don't realize is that after our daughter passed away, she has done absolutely nothing for our son. You guys continue to congratulate her on all kinds of things, but not really knowing her in real life. My baby mama is a deadbeat, and someone needs to bring up why she abandons her kids, and that is the honest to God's truth. Okay, so. That is what her baby daddy, Mike D40, said on Instagram. And um, he has made statements about her being a, a bad mom in the past already. I think he made some, he said something about it um, right before the show began airing the first part of the, uh, of, the, of the 10th season, I believe, right? So I think that Brooke made a response to this um, post as well, she did. So let me find that first, and then we're going to move on and go to the end of this video. So here we go. Okay, I just found it. All right, so let me remove the overlay. So this is what... Um, this is what was said by Brooke. So Brooke said, first of all, my children are grown. My youngest son suffers from mental health illness. So does his father. You can read more about it. I share some of our story on the site. He was not a part of his children's lives growing up. Him and Kayla weren't even speaking when she passed, nor did he raise her. He wasn't at any of her services, nor did he pay for anything, nor did he help pay for anything ever. He didn't start to help our son until he was 17.5 when I had him when I had to have him removed from my home for his violent behavior. Prior to Kayla's passing, I hadn't spoken to Michael for eight plus years due to mental and physical physical abuse towards me and my children. He has a very long history of domestic violence in his relationships. Okay. Then she said, um, I also had a restraining order against him. I raised my children. I advocated for my son his whole life with the help of my family. He has grown and has chosen a different life for himself. All I can do is pray for him and be there when he needs me. As for Michael, he is a bitter baby mama and wishes that his lies would affect my life. And they do not. I have proof of him calling Kayla bitches in her text with him. I also have proof that our son stayed with him and he was put out on the street every week and I helped our son. I could keep going, but he's sassy and needs attention. I buried him when I buried my daughter. Oh, this is a lie. Okay, so that is what Brooke, in fact, had to say in regards to this situation. I think that this whole thing was, I think it's sad, honestly. I think it's sad. Um, it's a lot going on, um, but we already know that, you know, uh, Brooke, Brooke and her baby daddy have been fighting with one another for a while now. We already know that. And um, it's, it's just it's just crazy to me how it's really going down. And, you know, a lot of the times when, you know, it, 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 children is involved and all this other crap, it's just like, you know, um, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like children is involved and and um, things have been going on. And it's kind of like, um, you know, it, it's, it's sad, you know, because sometimes death brings the worst out of everything and everybody. So it's 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 unfortunate. You know, it's very unfortunate that this is going on. And um, I really feel bad for Brooke because I know that a lot of this has a lot to do with the pain that she's enduring um, with her daughter being gone. And, you know, especially with the way that she confronted Jackie and, you know, how um, emotionally charged this whole thing was. You know what I'm saying? So um, I definitely feel Brooke and I really hate that for her. Um, but I, you know, I don't know. We'll see. We, we'll see what's going on. But um, I just, you know, I didn't cover the rest of the season, the basketball wise, because it just was foolish to me and I didn't like it. It just wasn't it for me. But however, um, there was something else that was mentioned. But I don't know. Uh, I think Brooke, I think Brooke had posted some DMs from Jackie, but I cannot find them. So if anybody has those DMs, can y'all please send them to my DM so I can come back and talk about it later? Because I'm doing these videos before I go to work today. So, um, yeah. 
yeah, that's pretty much all that we got with this story with Jackie and Brooke and Brooke's baby daddy. So that's pretty much it. So with that being said, y'all, this be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV. Be sure to like, like, rate, comment, and talk about what we talked about and subscribe to the platform and also click on the notification bell so you can be notified for every video. And when you click on the notification bell, make sure you click all. You choose all, not personalized, but all so you can get notifications for every last video that comes out so you won't miss any video that I put out. Make sure you choose all when you click on the bell. Also, if you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my TikTok will be down below in the description box. Um, I do follow back on Instagram, but you just got to send me the hashtag Scotty Gang. It's no longer Team Scotty. The Scotty Gang hashtag. It lets me know that you're a part of the Scotty Gang, and I would definitely follow you back then. With that being said, y'all, I am up out of here until my next video. I will holler at you guys a little bit later, y'all. Bye.